Hey, what's up? It's Annika and welcome back to Vlogmas. Today I will be doing kind of a Sunday productive vlog. I really like to just get my life in order on Sundays. I need to straighten everything up and put everything away from my week where I literally just get lazy and I'll like pile up clothes. My desk will be a mess, like my mail will pile up and just my to-do list just grows. But um, yeah, so we need to get our lives together today. But this morning, my mom and my brother's girlfriend and I actually we went to go get our nails done. Check out the nails. I'm getting candy cane vibes. I'm getting glitter vibes. I'm getting Christmas vibes. I'm getting happy vibes. I'm so happy. <laughs> the place that we go to, um, they're all very cautious and take amazing COVID-19 precautions and there's like separators and everyone's in masks and they're very, very clean. And so I feel good about going there and supporting that business. And it just makes me so happy. But um, we also stopped for a Starbucks, of course, and I was gonna take you with me this morning to vlog it, but I literally woke up at like 9.30 and then we left at like 9.45 <laughs> because I, we were all up late last night because we went to this virtual Vespertine Ball event that one of our friends hosts and it's really awesome and there's performances and music and things like that, but we were up really late, so it was really hard to get up. Not to mention I had like a million martinis, so. So then we also made a stop at Ulta, and of course, I just have a spending problem, so of course I bought things. Ulta haul! Okay, some of the stuff I did not go in for, but like, I needed it. So I got this um, crimper that is a little bit smaller than the ones that I've seen other people have, so I really like that for my hair since my hair is so thin. I have been on the hunt for this, and we had a 20% off coupon for the entire purchase, so I didn't pay full price for it. So... Don't come for me. And I'm trying to wear my hair like more natural. Like right now this is like, it's pretty dirty and it's still leftover curls from yesterday. But I think I wanna try wearing my hair a little bit more natural, but I do want kind of a little bit of help with the wave. And I think that crimper will help with that. Slash when I wanna wear it like crimped and cute, like the new wavy style that's happening. I got some satin scrunchies to help with, again, wearing my hair natural wavy. Um, if I wanna sleep with my hair for like second day waves kind of situation, I've got this satin scrunchie. And I also just was out of mascara. So like I literally needed mascara. Like I was always gonna buy this. And this was like already accounted for in the budget. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. So not too bad. I, I put things back. I'm trying this thing where if I'm gonna go into a store, I have to put two things back before I check out. So that's what I did. I put two things back that I definitely didn't need and I can live without. So that's where we're at. But um, yeah, so let me just show you the situation that we're working with today. Um, Yeah, so this is a bunch of stuff that I'm still trying to sell. I had a closet sale on Friday and I didn't even add any of this stuff because I was so tired and I already had like a million things posted to my story. But these things I posted to my story, and I think only a few things really sold, but um, I need to straighten that up. I have all of this that I'm still trying to sell. Some of these I have claims already, and they've already paid me, so I just need to get those to shipped, or sh out shipping, and um, I still have all of this crap. And I posted all of these shoes here on Depop. I can't post on Poshmark for some reason. Um, I don't know what happened to my account. But um, I need to get that resolved. I don't know why it's not letting me. So I just posted them on Depop. And that's that's where we're going from there. But I think this is all driving me insane. So I need to like pile it up and kind of tidy it up a bit more. So that I can have my life a little bit more together. I have not even opened my curtains today. Because I just rolled out of bed. And my bed is a mess. And it's not too bad over here. I've just got all my friends piled up in my pillows. So uh, that just needs to be straightened up. But really, this is like the horrible part. All of my stuff that I'm selling and getting rid of. And then I've got like some mail things happening. My desk is a mess. Like I always need to have my desk in order on Sunday nights because then when I wake up Monday morning to log on for work, then everything is all good. So that's just a must. So that's what we're dealing with today. But then I'm gonna reward myself with more Harry Potter marathons because if you watched my vlog yesterday Then you saw that we went through the first two Harry Potter movies and that's all we had time for because we started late And then we had that event last night, but um, yeah, we're gonna try and get through some more today. So let's go Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside can hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas times we'll be 
chilling and having a good, good time. Oh my goodness, I feel so much better already. Okay, now that my space is a bit more tidy and I can actually look at my room and not get an aneurysm, <laughs> I'm going to update my December budget and I kind of just want to make sure my life is together. I'm also just planning out my videos for the rest of this week. I posted different videos this weekend and I was planning that were on my schedule so I just kind of updated that and I can't believe this is the last week of Vlogmas. Like I feel like December is literally flying by but also Vlogmas has kind of not forced but it's it's given me accountability to do the things that I wanted to do this December so that's great because I feel like if I didn't have a video that I wanted to put together with the certain things like making the gingerbread house or like the different holiday cocktails that were other videos that I posted last week and then I probably wouldn't have done them but they're things that like I wanted to do so I don't know thanks for that vlogmas yeah so I need to update my budget and if you've been following along on my debt-free journey then you know I use the every dollar budget app because it is magnificent and I love it and it's free but I just love being able to track every single thing so i've sold i've added in two shirts that i've sold so i made 29.96 off of that so i'm gonna go ahead and add that in my car insurance tricked me because i paid 54.64 on december 2nd and i thought that was for my new due date for my new policy for six months with geico for my like organ insurance but then i'm getting another charge of 87.18 like later this week so i'm confused like but then my next charge is in january for like 88 dollars so i'm like okay 88 dollars is my normal instead of 54 like i was expecting which i did think was kind of low but now i'm confused like why there were two charges on the same policy like hello so i don't know what to do about that but so i had to update my budget for that again <laughs> I had budgeted $30 for nails and I ended up spending $36, so I'm just going to update my little number there. And then I'm going to add in the stuff that I bought at Ulta, which I actually do have $20 remaining in my miscellaneous section. And then I have $35.88 left to budget because every dollar needs to be budgeted using the every dollar budget method. It's because I added in my income from the items that I've already tracked from my closet sale. So now... I can just go into my miscellaneous section and add in what I bought in Ulta and then kind of update that total because I know you're like to stick to your budget you generally want to just set an amount at the beginning of the month and then not go over that and not change it but that method just does not work for me because sometimes I'll spend way less in a category for one month and then I'll spend like the amount that I was expecting to the next month and then sometimes I go over in certain categories and not like over per se like I make sure I just rearrange things so if I overspend in one category that means I have to take from a different category so I'm I never technically go over budget I just reorganize it which may not work for some people but that really works for me and I like that flexibility and knowing that I'm not constrained and it helps me so I think I spent $44 at Ulta total yeah $44.82 I'm just going to go into my miscellaneous category, add in my 4482, and then it will update. Okay, so then it goes into the red because I overspent on what I already projected to spend in my miscellaneous fund. So I'm going to just now take that new total, 244 spent of 175.62. I'm going to take that and make the 244 my new like miscellaneous total because see it goes red. So it goes red in that miscellaneous, so I'm going to change that number to 244. And then it goes green! And then it just, now I only have 1106 left to budget. So I also had mentioned earlier in my like December budget update that I had to get an oil change for my car, and then I had, then the oil change people said that I needed my belts changed. But then I posted that, and one of you guys commented that I should look into getting those changed, and if there is something wrong with them, because those could blow my engine. But... My dad actually took my car in to be looked at by a couple of different mechanics and also he took a look and 
everyone said my belts are fine so the oil changing people just wanted to get more money out of me so kind of ridiculous i he was literally calling around for estimates for me as well and i think he called one of the ford dealers because my car's a ford and they quoted him two thousand dollars to change the two belts hello like no kind of ridiculous but if i did have to change them we found a mechanic who would have done it for about 200 which was what i was kind of budging for but thankfully everyone looked at them and said they were literally fine and they almost look brand new and like you can still see the word for it on them and like they were fine so honestly i'm glad i got it checked out but i'm even more happy that i don't have to spend the money to get them fixed because they're fine <laughs> so uh yes there we go we are nice and updated and now it's an every dollar budget we love to see it okay but um, now i feel so much more put together and my space is clean my budget is updated i kind of updated my like video schedule that i'm going to be doing this week and now my life feels so much more put together but uh, yeah now i'm going to continue my harry potter marathon and as you guys know if you watched my video from yesterday i don't have a dvd player and they're not streamable so i actually have them on my external drive so i'm just going to hdmi my laptop to our tv so we're able to watch the next harry potter movies which i love like i love a good harry potter marathon that pretty much wraps it up for today's sunday vlog i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to follow along on my debt-free journey as well as many more lifestyle productive working vlogs i actually really enjoy doing these so i hope you do too but uh, thanks so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye